Hey y'all, hope you guys are all doing well and having a most excellent day. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to be looking at something, a bit of a follow-up video to my previous video about are there any heavy metal furries, and that is, are there any hip-hop furries out there? Uh, now this was an incredibly difficult video to film because it, it's just something that you don't expect to find in the hip-hop scene. But despite that, I did actually manage to find a few really good examples. I found one you know, fairly small artist who... Seems to be pretty decent in my opinion, who is overtly furry. I found one really huge artist um, who is quite well known in the fandom for being a furry. Um, and I found one absolute surprise artist who is insanely huge and I'm fairly certain is a furry, but I'm not 100% on that dude. Uh, so let's roll that intro scene and have a look at some hip-hop furries you may enjoy. Okay, so we're going to start off with, you know, the, the small time dude who's just starting out from the looks of it. I mean, he's, he's been doing it for a couple of years, but he's not hit big quite yet. But that is a dude named Hip Hop Husky. Uh, and he is a legitimate furry. You know, he, he is an avowed member of the, the fandom and all of his videos do involve him in fursuit and other people in fursuit as well. A lot of the videos feature um, guest cameos from other popular furries out there. So, you know, it, it's actually interesting to see who appears in his videos. I'll put a link in the description below to his YouTube channel so you can go check out some of his videos, check out some of his music, and see who appears in his videos. Tote, send telephone to your front door. Click, crack, pop, pop, now you're laying on the floor. Oops, did I mention you were gonna fall? Telephone is my home. While he hasn't actually released any major albums at the moment, he has released several singles and they are quite good. I, now, I'm not normally a hip hop type dude, I usually listen to heavy metal and rock, but I have recently been getting into it uh, thanks to my good buddies Nats and Greg over at GMG News. Uh, so I've been starting to get a decent appreciation for hip hop, and this dude, I really enjoy his work. Um, it, it's got quite good rhythm and bounce to it, in my opinion. I'm a, I mean, I'm not an expert. Uh, so go check some of his stuff out over on his YouTube channel. Um, have a listen, watch some of the videos, the videos are wild, so enjoy them, okay? Yeah, th that is a dude named Hip Hop Husky, uh, who is an actual member of the fandom who does hip hop, you know, post it on his YouTube channel. Uh, so yeah, moving on from small time to huge, uh, we are going to someone who's quite well known in the furry fandom as, you know, being a member of the furry fandom. And that is, is, is may surprise some of you, Violent J from Insane Clown Posse. Now, I know a couple of my good buddies are probably having kittens right now, being like, what? Nah, he's not a furry. But, but I shit you not, this dude actually attends furry conventions in fursuit uh, with his daughter. Um, and it's his daughter that actually got him into it. Uh, she, she actually got into it a couple of years ago uh, and had a rather unpleasant encounter with a fursuit maker who welched on her. Um, and obviously, straight after that, uh, you know, dad of the year, Violent J., he puts up a video with his daughter, who's in fursuit, you know, just verbally bitch slapping this dude. And, you know, I'll I'll put a link to that video. It's uh, it's act actually you know quite wholesome seeing him defend his daughter like that. Uh, and you know, in most cases, you'd think it'd end there with him defending his daughter and his daughter going on her way in the furry fandom, enjoying herself. But no, it it gets better because then cited at several furry conventions was a rather suspiciously violent Jay-like fursuit. Um, and it turns out he actually commissioned this fursuit based off, you know, his, his face markings when he's performing. You know, so he actually owns an actual fursuit, attends furry conventions with his daughter. You know, this, this is dad of the year type material right here. You know, how awesome is this that he's willing to support his daughter the lens that he will dress up in a fursuit uh, to make sure she's safe and, you know, has a good time and enjoys herself at these furry conventions. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to Violent J over in St. Clown Posse. This dude is, like, top-notch. You need to go check out some of his music. Um, my favourite one uh, is one that my other half uh, introduced to me, and that is a song called Miracles, because, you know, how do magnets work? Okay, so the third and final artist I'm going to look at, um, and this dude, we don't know for certain if he is a furry, but I have got, like, major furry suspicion vibes. Like, you know, if, if there was a furry radar out there, 
it'd be pinging for this. No, because I'm like 99% certain this dude is a furry and this is his persona. But obviously, there's no actual proof of this, so I can't be 100%. And I found this dude completely by surprise because I was looking up uh, some songs by Kanye West. Because I remember him doing a video a few years back with a bear avatar. And I thought, you know, maybe I could feature Kanye West thinking, you know, maybe he's a furry. Uh, I don't think he is. Um, but he had this bear avatar in one of his videos back in the day. So, he, 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 you know, he, suspicious. But then while I was looking up uh, Kanye West and his bear avatar, I stumbled across this other artist who has a fox avatar. And, you know, while Kanye West's bear avatar isn't that furry, this fox avatar just screams persona this screams that this is this dude's persona and he's just not telling anyone that he's a furry and that is an artist called kid cootie you all heard me right folks uh kid cootie uh, recently about six months ago released a teaser with kanye west of both their avatars and instead of you know using the name kid cootie in this uh video they released he goes by the name kid fox and it's blatant this is his persona i mean just look at it i mean that screams persona and, you know i'm looking at this video back when i first discovered it and i'm like what nah no way but now i've looked into it more and he's you know used this avatar a couple of times now and there's uh you know there's public posts about it i'm like hmm maybe he is a furby i mean obviously i've got no proof but this is hella suspicious uh, so yeah, that is Kid Coody, also known as Kid Fox. Go check him out on YouTube. Go check out his website. Maybe buy some of his albums. You know, I do enjoy his music. Strangely, I enjoy Kanye West's music, and I didn't expect that. But, you know, I, I kind of find it kind of interesting. So yeah, go check out Kid Coody or Kid Fox. Um, and go check out the other artists. You know, Insane Clown Posse and Hip Hop Husky. They're both really banging singers. I really enjoy their work. Obviously, I'm not usually a hip hop type dude, but I quite enjoy their lyrics. You know, it's quite good music. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe, smash that bell notification icon. Remember, if I get to 200 subscribers, I'll be doing the fermented fish challenge. That nasty uh, Scandinavian fish that smells like petrol and tastes worse. Uh, so get me to 200 subscribers. You'll get to enjoy that. It'll be a good laugh, okay? Other than that, you all take care of yourselves. You enjoy your weekend. You have a most excellent day. And I will see you in the next video, okay? Take care. Uh, so I'll put a link in the But I shit you not, this dude is a legitimate.